All right, I got a little bit of an announcement to make. I gotta call some people out. I am on the injury reserves. I think that's the name we have it for. Should be back one of these days, one of these days. I'm not gonna promise anything. I hate lying to the fans, but my presence is still needed in WWE. That's why I do the commentating. That's why I'm out here now. So let's just get down to it on this beautiful show that no one decided to show up for. I'd like to call out New Throwdown first. So if some New Throwdown guys could come on out, that'd be awesome. That would start start the thing going on. New Throwdown, please. New Throwdown. I only got to say about 17 times. Yo, we don't come out for you. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. This guy. I shut doors. This guy. This guy. What do you do about calling out Throwdown? Get in here, code breaker. Yeah, this is the kind of dark stuff I like. Not so much like you. Backyard Mocha. Not Aaron Douglas. Not, not Aaron. The Douglas. smallest motherfucking belt in WMWA history. Wow, Drake. After all these years, I knew you could finally win that tag team title. Yeah, I'm right, man. That's a shiny bitch right Let's there. Let's get on you. Let's get on you. So, um, where's the Jobbers? Where's Adrian? Where's Snake? Where's the heavyweight champion? Where's Big C? What were you guys? Like the mid card representatives of Throwdown? I I can't get a heavyweight champion out here. Don't you know? It's spring break, bitch. So big season to Mexico. When you in, when you in Throwdown, you've got vacation plans, motherfucker. We sending you places. Well, it is ironic that you know spring break in Mexico and all the Mexican guys of Throwdown are not here. That's right. See? So for once, I'm gonna believe you. I'm gonna take New Throwdown Stay on, on Stay their on. word. All right. So you know, you guys seem to be up to your old tricks. Are already jumping people, jumping chinky eyes. Or last week at the end of the show, what was? Why do you got to do that? Why do you got to jump somebody every show? Yeah, he had to come in. I have a match room, that's Bukaki, and I wanted to crash him at the match. And I get the virgin ears. Alright. Real mature. That was a pretty good this jump, guy. Drake. I, I'll agree with him. That was a pretty good jumping. Um, you know you know what would have probably saved his ass? If maybe if uh, he kissed Aaron's shoes. Like somebody else did. Do you know anything about that? I don't kiss anyone's shoes. Are you sure? I think you kissed mine. Oh. You kicked me in the face when I was already Same down. Thing. I didn't kiss Same shit. Same thing. Yeah, Don't think I've forgotten about that too. What do you want? Tissue? Here, I got a pack. Oh. Shit, I'm gonna need that later. Brian, Lane, it's, it's a good thing that you came out here, anyways, because uh, you're another person I was supposed to call out. I already know you boys got your supreme title match today. The, the main event of the show is gonna be a good one. I hope you. You know, it, that's like a that's like an ethnic cleansing match right there. It's just like Brian Olin, like he's like 17 races. Aaron Douglas, KFC representative, right there, gonna be gonna be the ultimate showdown. It's gonna be good. Why is everything gonna come down the races? I don't know. I'm a guinea. What Officially, do you want it doesn't, because KFC has just been now wiped out of Western Massachusetts. <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah, Terrible. that's right. That's right. Terrible. All right. Well, I was like I said, I was when we talked about Throwdown. I was trying to get Big C out here, but apparently he's not coming out here. Don't talk shit about Big C. I can say what I want, when I want. That's what I do, jackass. The belt says otherwise. Crippled. That belt's a joke. I can't wait to get back. Your mom's in the a ring. joke. And you know and what? A joke. You I believe last that's week up. Mm -hmm. up. I came out victorious in a triple threat match with your so-called leader. Oh, he did. Up high, down low. No, no, not there. <laughs> Ass bump? <laughs> yeah. All right, anyways, the main reason I called everyone out here is besides to have some impromptu promo fun, was to announce Collision Course is going to have the return of the six-pack challenge. And in just a matter of two weeks, it's going to be two members of Throwdown, Eric Drake, Big C, and Brian O'Lynn will also be in the match. The other three guys have yet to been announced. They will be announced in the coming weeks. And we will have ourselves a six-pack challenge. And this message you might want to relay to your buddy Big C. There is no longer heavyweight champion advantage. Heavyweight champion does not get to come out last anymore. And who the fuck said that? Powers of B, bro. Don't even look at me. Don't even look at me. Don't even Powers look at me. Powers of B that he, he Don't even that Dunkin' Donuts fucking shit to? Yeah, actually, you know, you gotta wake up early and shit. They hook you up. They hook me up. They hook him up a lot. So what? You feel bad for him. You can't pick up like fucking anything on his right arm or whatever. Um, he, he, he does have that broken down puppy dog. Yeah, so, you know what? 
Hey, comb your beard. Comb your beard. You know what? I got some fucking tissues for you. <laughs> hey, you know what? Why it all comes there, full circle. While you're down there picking them up, why don't you kiss my shoe too? And while you're down there, why don't you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't touch me. You, you know, you know. There's a suspension if you hit any crippled person in WWE. They go for me, Dawson, any of the cripples. You know what I mean? So please, just kiss my shoe, please. Come on, it, it's a van. Let's go in. Here. Let's get you ready. All right. Whoop this chicky See, ass ass. Yeah, you better run. Stop you your know fucking what? eyes straight. Collision course. Not only am I going in there to win the heavyweight title, I'm going in there as supreme title oh. champion. Bring title. He's about Botchamania right there. Bring a title back home for the love of God. Not the tag. They can keep the tag titles. I don't want those Walmart belts. I don't want those. Qu quite honestly, as Bukaki, I didn't want those either. Yeah. <laughs> Kmart belts. <laughs> like you could have gotten them in the first place. Oh, damn. Yo, don't forget to tell Big C. It's mine. It was, it was a good promo. You want to you wanna go out Taco Bell? It's the only way to end it. Let me let me buy you a man's drink. I got some Guinness on the way. Let's man's go. Oh, I know. Yes, Ladies and gentlemen, I am the one, the only, the White Thunder, joined alongside with my co-announcer and the greatest I want some person time. in the world, the Rush. Yes, I still put the. We are here at intensity number nine. Nine, nine, nine. nine, 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 nine looking so fun. Nothing personal, all right? Kicking off this match, we've got Bouncer versus Brian Lynn in a quarterfinal Supreme Invitational Tournament match. The winner of this match will face the uh, the winner of next week's last quarterfinal match. Which is? Uh, Anarchy, and I'm not sure who the other guy is. That uh, They haven't told me. I've yet to be announced. Oh, sucks for him. Yeah. So, I mean, even Anarchy doesn't know when he's in that match. Well, Anarchy just goes with the, the flow half the time. Uh, you're gonna give credit to Olin because he is wrestling Aaron a little later in the show, but he's wrestling Bouncer now. I, I don't know if he's using Bouncer to prepare because he's black or. Well, Olin technically, I think he's go trying to be smart. He's got two chances. One, he's in the Supreme Invitational, so yeah. he wins this. He's still got a shot. And two, he's for it's tonight's for the title, isn't it? So. Oh uh, yes, yeah, the main event. Supreme, Supreme what if he wins he's it tonight? Line. If he wins it tonight, though, and if he wins the tournament, what the hell's gonna happen? Well. Then he wouldn't have to face anybody. He could basically, instead of putting the title on the line against a Supreme Invitational winner, he oh. could win the tournament. Non-title matches, obviously, because you're in a tournament for a belt. Right. So basically, he could take out his competition oh. without risking putting the title on the line. That's never been done, obviously. There's only been the one Supreme Invitational tournament. Oh. One sit, ever. You know what I mean? Right. MIT. Right. So, but that that's an interesting strategy. You know, I give Olin credit for that. That's a good idea. Taking out your competition in a non-title format is not a bad idea. But that that's assuming he can beat Aaron Douglas later tonight, because Aaron Douglas has had a very good title reign. Oh, yes. That that Angel Dust match was really good. He also beat Justin Moore. He's wrestled the year. So, Bouncer is taking I mean, control of this there match. There hasn't been a, a person that Olin hasn't, I mean, Aaron hasn't beaten that I can think of. That he's He's beating Angel Dust, he's beating Rush, he's beating Drake, he's beating Olin, actually. That's who he won the title off of. Justin Moore, as I mentioned. True. So. Basically all the top guys, really. Yeah, he's uh, racked up some big wins. He ever faced Dawson? Uh, he did face Dawson, the heavyweight title, he did lose. That's, That's one of the few guys that Aaron hasn't gotten to yet. So. Huge oh! And a flip off of that. That was a lot of momentum. That was pretty nice right there. Honestly, it, for those of you who are actually paying attention and not to the wonderful voices of me and Rush, at home, uh, Bouncer has actually been doing some sort of wrestling and not just melee attacks this entire match. He has used at least five or six million Bouncer, snapmares. I think Bouncer is trying to improve his wrestling skill. He is a Cleveland team in him. Right so, that ref's uh, reaction time is a little slowed down right now, but it's all right. I don't think that would have been a three count either way. No, 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 no. Are you excited, uh, White Thunder? The newest October DVD has been released, showcasing some of the best shows in WWE history. Is that the five on five? That has the ten, the first ever ten man tag elimination in WWE history. I did my research, and we have had a ten man tag before in October 2004. So we have not had a ten man tag in six years, and that's but that's the first ever elimination one. New Throwdown versus Team WWE. Seven years. Last year was 2010. Yeah, but you said 2004. That's six. Do the math. 
Yeah, but this is 2011. Yeah, but that was the first 10 man tag in six years at that time. Oh! Uh, Don't question me, White Thunder. You're, uh, you're, you're uh, a charismatic uh, uh, guy. But I know, I know, I know. I'm trying. Do not question Who was in the watch. original 10 man? The original 10 man tag was the original throwdown, the one that Drake doesn't know about, with Vigilante, uh, Big C, uh, <laughs> other throwdown guys, Vapor. Toogie. Yeah, Toogie. Um, Backyard at the time? Backyard was, was in that, yes. I, so um, that's four. An angel. angel. Okay, so five. there's the five. Against <laughs> the Alliance, which is Dawson, Danger Dave, Ethan Payne. Oop. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. And, um... The 90 million snapper! Eric Drake, and then myself. <laughs> I teamed up with them. So Eric Drake doesn't remember the original throwdown, even though he faced it in the original 10 men. I don't know what happened. You do it, not Apparently jump Drake does not... <laughs> Sometimes people like to repress memory, so apparently there's something in Drake's past that he's trying to repress. I don't know what it is. Time. What's an Irish car, bar? Oh, oh shit. shit. He's blocking it, blocking it. Oh! He's going for the face crusher. Oh, elbow to the face. Going for that arc. Ah! Reverse. No! No! Oh! Cover, cover him. Get him over. Get him over. He's going for it. What a huge reversal. Two! And he got it. Did he? I don't know. I can't tell from this angle. He got it. Aaron's saying he got it. I could not tell from this camera angle. Or sitting. Oh my god. But the referee says that was a three count. That was good. Bouncer advanced. An amazing finisher. Bouncer wasn't in the Supreme Invitational last year. I don't think Olin will sweat it though, because you folks probably heard in the beginning of this match, Olin does, is in the main event for the, the Supreme Invitational. The only thing you got to worry about now is because he's going to be a little tired against Aaron Douglas. I kicked out. I kicked out. O it, Olin really thought he had it right there. Bouncers give him his props, the former tag team champions. That was a good match. That was uh, one of the, for the ages. One of Bouncers' best one-on-one -on -one matches. Probably going to be the match of the night. Well, I mean, we still have Aaron and Olin to come, so we'll see. But that was a good one. So Bouncer goes to the semis in the Supreme Invitational. He joins Humberto and Joey Ranson in the second round.